Hey, how's it going out there? This is Keith Lewis uh, doing a recording. Uh, this video is uh, basically uh, about uh, 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 forwarding, getting your domain forwarded. And, you know, I, I was wanting to do this, I was doing this video about getting your, your domain forwarded from, say, Weebly. Because you can't do it the way that you normally forward your uh, your URL or, or uh, you know whatever. Maybe you can, but I had a, I had I ran into a little bit of obstacle doing it. So I wanted to shoot this quick video to show exactly what I did in order to get my Weebly uh, forwarded. But what you have to do is you go to uh, I'm on my GoDaddy account right now, and I'm just going to log in. Uh, and, and I'm already logged in, it's, but I'm going to go in and show um, how I did it and and what I what I did and uh, with a uh, domain that I wanted to use um, for uh, a Weebly uh, squeeze page that I made. Okay, so you know, excuse me, uh, my computer's moving kind of slow because of this uh, screen recording that I'm using this Camtasia. By the way, it's 7.1. I love it. Uh, let's go to, to uh, manage uh, to pick the domain that you want succeed with keep dot com uh, go to uh, manage your domains and go to the manage domains uh, and click that link and go to I have to do it like this for some reason I'm having a little problem with my uh, domain but here's you go to it comes to a list of all your domains that you have registered and you just click on the one that you want uh, which right here I'm going with uh, succeed with uh, with Keith.com. Now, here, here's another problem that I didn't have earlier, but I, I I started having now. I don't now, but you, you know, you're forward, right? I, I went to forward, and I'm going to show you um, forward. You, you, you definitely have to do this too. But this is my Weebly uh, user, or should I say website that they give you, like, you know, like Blogger give you a blog spot, doctor, whatever your name whatever your name um, dot blogspot dot com which you don't want to use all that so I, I use I came up with get the ladies dot weebly dot com and I forwarded it with masking right I, I want to cancel it because I already did it but you put it in forward with masking make sure you do masking and then you have to do some editing but I'll show you that in another video but right now this is for weebly and this is what you have to do uh, right here, you have to go scroll down, and you you have to make sure your uh, DNS uh, manager is set. If, if earlier, mine was not set, and what you have to do is uh, right here. I'm gonna go to Weebly real quick, um, and let me see here. Okay, that's my. Squeeze page that I made with Weebly, but this is what you have to do right here. Um, this is how you. This is how it goes. You have to. You click on your. Um, you click right right here when you into um, GoDaddy. That total DNS. See, mine has already said lunch. Uh, so you know, but right here you go to. You click on the total DNS, and then down here. You're gonna have it's gonna show uh, GoDaddy is gonna say uh, a host, host. You know what I'm saying? And it's gonna have your W. So what you want to do is you want to on on your a host where it says at points two. You want to X that out. You know, delete that, and then go down and your host www points two at and then actions. You know, you want to delete that, and then what you want to do after you do that. Is go to um, Weebly and get their uh, their actual. Well, actually, it's it's going to be on that same page that Weebly does. But um, you're going to go and get and put in Weebly's, and this is Weebly's points too. Is one nine nine point three four point two two eight point one hundred. What you what you'll do because Weebly show. I mean, it shows. This is an old example that we Weebly has. It shows this, but on the bottom it's going to say uh, view quick or something like that. You're going to click on that, then it's going to be green. It's going to be outlined in green. 
and in that a host right there on that, that first one that you deleted on the bottom when you click on that little link down there that's when you're able to put in at 199.34.228.100 and then you and you you put that in there and then you go down to the next line click that little it's going to be like a little green button click that again and put this in here www and then the same thing and then you good and then you go down um, the go days page and then you click uh, save down there at the bottom which like I said this is an example and then you go to Weebly and in Weebly uh, you're gonna go to your general settings like right here uh, I'm in the back office of my Weebly right so in your element you got elements design pages editors you go to settings right and then once you go to settings right here you're gonna click on change um, site address because before it would be like mine was get the latest dot weebly dot com and you don't click on this you click right here and when you click right here you put in the address that you want it to forward to and once you do that then you click down here you hit save and then give it about an hour and then everything will be forwarded to this right here is a show up in your web browser uh, but yeah I just want to shoot that quick video because I was having problems with it and I, and I kept falling and waiting for um, you know it to happen and I'm sitting here and made videos with my my domain name is not coming up you know so yes uh, but I just want to make this quick video just to show anybody out there that was having trouble like I was and if this video if you still having problems after that, just send me a uh, inbox, and I'll and I'll you know be happy to you know explain it to you more in depth. All right, this is Keith Lewis, and I'm signing out, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace, y'all.